and welcome to the Magenta Show. And we have got a very, very exciting guest here today, Jim Hetherington. Hi. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much. Great to be here. You are going to want to hear what Jim has to say because he is for over 30 years now, I believe. Yes, yes. An expert relationship coach. You got it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for those of you who are... Um, in a relationship, having trouble in a relationship, not sure which way to, to or how to handle an issue in a relationship, this show in this brand new season six is going to be amazing because for the first time ever on the Magenta Show, the audience is going to be able to ask our guest their questions live. So what you can't see on the set is we can see a huge big tv screen in front of us and your questions are going to pop up on there we're going to see who's interacting with the show also this is the first time in season six and and jim is going to choose some questions to answer are you up for that i'm up for that yes you're up for that okay you don't mind what kind of questions they ask no it could be anything anything it could be anything anything okay should we qualify anything though No, let's keep it it's live. Okay. We're not we're not we'll, we'll regulated. We can just do it as anything. <laughs> so um just a warm welcome to all our regular viewers and again remember please if you need share the post in your groups and on your timelines, it does help to engage an audience with us. This is season six and I want to also extend an incredibly warm, warm thank you. And you know, Jim, we had in season five we had eleven thousand views. Wow, it's amazing. And you know, for a for a home produced studio um a show and a social media TV show that is pretty that is pretty fantastic. good stuff. Congratulations, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. So and it's all because you, my darlings, out there share the show and let people know um and, and, and spread the news about all the wonderful guests that we have here. So I want to say a huge thank you. So there are two announcements that are going to be made for season six, a brand new season. Um and they're going to be made at the end of the show. So please stay tuned. They also you'll notice there's no number one, two and three bottle here today. And that is because one of the announcements will be given to you at the end of the show. And typically, well, I, you know what? I'm just going to tell it to you now. Let's not make you wait. I'll make you wait for one announcement at the end of the show. But <laughs> the one announcement I'm going to give you right now is no one, two, three this week. But I am going to help you find out what is your color for 2019. Of course, you can see I'm in pink. So I'm in a pink here. <laughs> so we're going to talk a little bit about what is your color in the, in 2019 and give you a little bit of guidance um, and that's going to happen after the show when I interact with you individually so in the comments box I need you to put me the following the day you are born the month you are born that's it just but just in a comments box the day you are born the month you are born and I will be calculating your year number and giving you some advice on your color for this year okay so that is the gift special new year 2019 gift that i'm giving for free to our viewers today and of course um you also have a gift that you're going to give away to the audience right i do yes a copy of your book yes yay rescue handbook it's an amazing book i've had a quick little flip through it this morning so if you want to win a copy of jim's book you know the rules of the game share 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 and the person who shares it the most and the most often in the upcoming week will win a signed copy of your book jim signed of course yes signed copy of your book okay so Award-winning author, I believe you just won an award in London as well. England, yes. London, not London, yes, Ontario. London, for, England. For books. Yes, yeah. for, it was called the Global Authors Award. Global Authors Award. And oh, I was right. invited to go over there to yeah. uh, to present my book. And yeah, uh, yeah they, they nominated it for, for an award. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. So I, I met you at the book launch of the Holistic Health That's H3 right. book. And I saw you at the back and you'd also gone up to do a little talk and you mesmerized the audience you hmm. literally you stood up in front and you 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 did your talk and i'm like i have got to meet this man so wow. i got off my chair and went to the back of the room i remember and you were the first one back there <laughs> I, I, I want you on the show we've never had a relationship coach on wow. the show and you've been doing this for, for over 30 years yes so 
What made you go into working in relationships? What was it that propelled you into this career, Jim? I've always loved working with people. Mm -hmm. And I particularly love working with young people, with young adults and, and teenagers. And that's where it started. Mm -hmm. Years ago, 30 years ago, I, I, uh, I pastored part-time and I, I worked full-time. I did all kinds of stuff. And it just evolved out of a love for just being around and serving people. Yeah. So, uh, okay, you've got a lot of experience. So what is the most common relationship issue that you have to deal with in your practice? I think one of the most common things today, especially, is because our our, our time is so crunched, right? We're, everybody is so busy, mm -hmm. and everybody says, I don't have time to do this or that or anything else. Yeah. I don't have time for a relationship. And I think that's one of the biggest things today is really just scheduling time. Because I, I teach yeah. people that you've got to schedule yourself yeah. into your schedule. Yeah. And, and oftentimes we don't. We get up in the morning, we're thinking about work, we're thinking about our careers, we're thinking about, yeah. you know, business, life, family, everybody else but ourselves. And so yeah. I, I teach people that you can get back to taking care of yourself. Yeah, and, and I agree with you, this, this time thing, because I, you know, I'm, I notice that in families and in relationships, everybody is sitting on their gadgets. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you're sitting with somebody in a room that you're in a relationship with or you're in the family and... Yet everybody's still talking to somebody else that's not in that room because right. they're engaging through social media and all their Instagrams and all these accounts, talking to other people that are not present in the room and that a disconnect begins to happen. That's right. Is that one of the modern, the new kind of modern problems in relationships that it you is. have to deal with? It is. And, and yeah. it's one of those things that I always tell people to prioritize. In, in my home, when my wife and I, when we have our time together, my kids are grown now, so it's just the two of us at home. Yeah. But when we have our time scheduled together, it's just the two of us. Yeah. It's not self phones my cell phone goes on silent yeah. or I'll leave it in another room yeah. and and that's just the rule between us it's yeah. we've we've scheduled that time and there's nothing more important than than that person that's with yeah. you in that moment and that's the thing we need to get back to but we get so addicted to you know the alerts and all the, yeah. the bells and whistles that come along with it that we just can't disengage yeah. from it but we have to get back yeah. to yeah Oh, oh, my God. Do you know, we've had a couple of, uh, well, we've had a few couples on the show as yeah. guests. And one of the things that they brought up that, that was an issue for them was they work together, they live together, and they are parents together. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that is difficult. How, how, is. What kind of advice could you give to somebody who works together, lives together, raises children together? Yeah, I think you have to give yourselves permission to um, do the things that recharge you. Me, for example, I'm an introvert, yeah. so I I need that 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 quiet time, yeah. you know. So my wife, I mean, I've been I've been self-employed. I've been doing coaching and mentoring for over thirty years. I've also an entrepreneur, so I've I've run a, another company for twenty five years. But we 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 schedule in the time, yeah. and my wife has worked with me, you know, for many years, and we just schedule time apart from each other. Yeah. Where I just say, look, I need to go for a walk, or I need to go for a drive, or I need to do something, and so. I just had a couple recently I was chatting with, and they had the same thing. They're they're together in the house all the time, working together. And she finally turned to me and she said, is it okay if I send him down the road to the coffee shop to work for a couple hours a day? And I said, absolutely. I mean, that's a brilliant thing, way to do it. Like, get him out of the house so that, you know, or one of you out of the house so that you can still do your work, but you can be separated for a little bit. It's it, it's okay to have that, that space. So we need to know what recharges us and what really... Uh, you know, yeah. deflates us at yeah. the same time so that we can find that balance. And for me, uh, uh, definitely in, in, in my personal um, life with my husband, Paul, my, uh, you know, my son, Michael, works in the business with us. One of the things we notice, because we're, we're, we're really seriously ADD, I mean, yeah. our attention span is short. So if we're in the process of creating or working with something, we have to, it, we need to give it our full attention and any distractions interrupts our thought and, and, and it jars our energy, it jars our thought process, it jars the creation, it actually stops the creation process. So we did a very, very um, important thing to our family is we sat down and said to, to, to my husband Paul and said, darling, you've got to get out the house. Mm. We work from home and when office hours we're working, we're not going to go to another office. We're not, we're not going to go to the expense of getting another space. We love working from home, but you need to get out the house. We love you, but you need to get out the house. And so he does. <laughs> he, sure. he went and got a job that took him out of the house right. that gave us the hours we need. And and then we, we schedule our time as well. He will phone at a certain time so it doesn't interrupt us when we're live on shows or when we're teaching or when with people. We schedule everything. Yes. And we've realized that that time component is so important to keep us all sane. It is. And, sh and to allow respect for, for each other's work and for our space and time needed yeah. to flow. Yeah. 
Yeah, I and completely agree. So if you agree with us and time time is an issue and scheduling um, needs to happen and you're not quite sure how to do it or you have any other question for our fabulous guest here, um, Jim Hetherington on the show today, you are so welcome to post some questions for us. So um, let's just have, I'm just going to have a look what's on our screen here. We've got a lady called Catherine Jujak. She's actually a minister as well. Um, one should never feel guilty if you need to spend time away from your spouse. It's healthy. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. It is exactly that. It is yeah. healthy. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah, we don't need to be surrounded with, you yeah. know, th that doesn't necessarily mean love just to yeah. be, you know, it merged into it all the time. You need to have that separation. I have another question for you, Jim. And um, lately, a lot of a lot of my my clients around me have had relationship breakups. You know, this mm. time of the year tends to happen a lot, doesn't sure, it? It's sure. around Christmas time. People reassess the year coming ahead, and they feel that who they're with doesn't match them somehow. Right. And when they in that crisis, you know, that emotional crisis of, of the shock of being separated. How do you deal with that in your mm. practice? What mm. do you What are your tools, or what What do you help? To, um, to just to help them calm down because yeah. you can't straight away go into the, th the theory or you know what are the steps and the things you need to do because literally at that moment they're in shock yes yeah no they're in shock and I always encourage them not to be afraid to be alone because oftentimes yeah. that's why we make poor choices is because people don't want to be alone or if, yeah. you know if they just had a separation or they got immediately they just want to get back into a relationship again so i always try to encourage people just to not be afraid to be yeah. alone no yeah. don't be afraid of the silence take that that silence to really reevaluate who you are yeah. and and as a person we need to constantly i think really evaluate what we believe in what we what we value what our core values are and as we work on those strengths and those those core values that's going to cause us to be a better person yes. and sometimes we can do that yeah. away from somebody better than we can when we're with somebody yeah. so i always encourage them to say look it's not a bad thing yeah. you know necessarily it, it this is a time that you can reflect you can build mm -hmm. on yourself you can you know build yourself into mm -hmm. more the person that you're, you're called to be and know you can be yeah. and that's going to attract a better relationship and more fuller relationships for yeah. you down the road. Oh, I love what you just said. Mm. <laughs> That's exactly what I did after marriage number two didn't mm. work out. And I realized that I needed to be okay to be alone. And I needed that time to heal myself. Sure. And when I did that, it took five years of really deep delving and lots of therapy and, and self-analysis and prayers. It really was, was yeah. a very internal process. And... I did have to deal with that issue of b being alone, not feeling I'm loved or supported by mm. someone else. It was it was quite rocky, mm -hmm. but at the end of it, I when I came out of it, I met my husband Paul, who we've been together. This is our tenth year that we've Wonderful. been together, and um, yeah, and it, and it's just amazing. Yeah. yeah, because I did that work, I was I was okay. I love yeah. it. So my darlings, if any of you are out there, your heart is hurting and you're in shock and things are not feeling quite right for you now. Please just listen to the wonderful sage advice that's coming from our guest Jim Hetherington here today um, he really says it's okay you must be okay to be alone you, and it's okay you need to self-reflect I love that I love it please mm. go watch this if you're only tuning in now go watch it from the beginning and just listen to his wise words mm. so I want to have a little look at the books you wrote here okay. so you this is the one that had the forward by Les Brown and the Handbook yes. Holistic Health. And I'm very pleased that I've had a couple of the, the, yes, the other co-authors that That's have great. been here on the yes. show. We've had Cheryl Avinsky on the show. That's We've right. had Benjamin Stone on the show as yes. well from it. And it's so great that you, you're a part of it as well. What is it like creating um, or co-authoring a book? Do you like doing that kind of thing? I do. It's, it, it was a lot of fun. At first, I wasn't sure because there's a lot of, there's some PhDs or doctors. There was one man that can trace his family genealogy back to like 300 AD. And I'm going, <laughs> I can't trace mine back four generations, never mind back that far. <laughs> yeah. So I thought, what am I going to write? Yeah. So I really felt humbled through the whole process because there was so many intelligent yeah. just bright people. i mean you know you mentioned benjamin benjamin is just such a smart he's an incredible guy, guy hey? and yeah. and so there were so many wise people in there so i really had a lot of fun as we got to know each other we were on calls we met we networked and we did things together it was just amazing yeah. it's a great experience yeah to, and to and what i love about that book is there's a variety of subjects and i really do think that you cornerstone that relationship corner mm. you you use you, you wedged in there really well because I think without addressing how you do relationships, it, you can't really put a holistic health book out into the world. It's no, not, that's it's right. Not it, a, it's all part of it, isn't it? It I is mean, all part it, of and it. It's, yeah. And it's such a natural, simple thing that we can do. We don't yeah. have to have all kinds of clever tricks and expensive yeah. products to, to work on ourselves and yeah. to develop our attitudes and all these wonderful things. Yeah. And it's 
And then your other book, your Relationship Rescue yes. Handbook, the 11 F words to increase the love. Oh. <laughs> and of course, you know, because I haven't had, a, honestly, I haven't had an opportunity. It's the first time I've laid my hands on your book. I haven't had an opportunity to read through your book. So what I normally do is I will just randomly open a page, have a look at what's interesting. So I did it. Yeah. And I opened it under the subject Frisky. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> just, I'm not going to choose something in, something else that's, that's more kind of for 11 o'clock in the morning show. I had to choose the title and subject Frisky. And I read a little piece here and it said, now I want to just put a disclaimer in here before we continue. I recognize that girls don't just think about tea parties and all those other things. Many of them are growing up dreaming and fantasizing about being in the corporate world or having construction careers and other wonderful things. So please bear with me. I'm just talking generally. Now for men, as they are growing up, they aren't giving too much thought to anything at all. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I honestly think, you guys, you need to get hold of this book. Where can they get hold of you? I mean, how can they get um, um, lay their hands on your fabulous book and learn all about the 11 Fs? <laughs> yeah. So, well, there's several ways they can get it. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it is on Amazon. So it's on Amazon. Uh, dot ca dot com dot uk it's all over the oh, place fabulous. on amazon yeah. and and on the front there is my little starburst for increase the love dot com if uh, they were to email that and get a hold of me there or go on the website there's a link there to to the book and of course they can order it right from me and i will autograph it and mail and it off to it them out. and yes yeah. and if yeah. you if you a lucky viewer is going to win this particular copy and jim's going to sign it for you and it all depends on how many times you share the show on your timeline and in groups not just today but in the next coming days so i think on friday we'll we'll announce who the winner Wonderful. is and we'll get a copy of the book to them i'm i'm keen to just see what the other f's are so i'm having a quick little peek here it says faith oh mm. i love that faith is at the top of it here mm -hmm. family friendships future finances oh the dreaded finances yes you've got to talk about money in business yes frustration faithfulness ah mm -hmm. that's interesting frisky well <laughs> i chose frisky <laughs> forever feasting and flexible what is feasting about Jim? feasting is all about our our eating and drinking habits so oftentimes when we get into a relationship it's it's usually around a, um, a community event or a yeah. social event so yeah. we're always eating and drinking we're doing all these different things and we can make excuses for why a person drinks or eats too much or whatever they do we don't think about those things then as we get into a relationship we realize that hey maybe this is a little bit more of a habit yeah. or you get people that you know today people are a lot more conscious of their diets mm -hmm. and they may be vegan they may be uh, vegetarian and somebody else may be a uh, flexitarian. I call myself a flexitarian. I just I go with it. whatever the diet another is. Another F. <laughs> That's right, another F word. But it's, it's the whole idea that we need to look at our habits yeah. around eating and drinking and realize that we're not just eating and drinking for today. We're eating and drinking for 20 and 30 years from today. Yes. And for young people, it's so hard to lose sight of that, that we don't yeah. even think about it. We just eat and drink and we devour anything that we want and we don't think anything of it. But the whole thing about the habits that are built around that, that when two people get together and cohabit together in a marriage, um, that's where it really starts to hit the fan yeah. when, when two people are having extreme diet issues or diet yeah. um, habits. Yeah. So and, and again, there, you need to have that same value principle with what you want for your health that's right. and match it so that your diet is the same. That's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. You Please, guys, you've got to order this book. And if you want a copy of a signed book, you, you know what you got to do. Your Relationship Rescue Handbook, the 11 Fs. I love, love, love it. I love it, Jim. This is <laughs> wonderful. You. So what, what's coming up for you in the future? What, what events? Where can people get hold of you? Um, just tell the audience a little bit about how you can help them and, and where they can join you and meet you. Yes. Well, I, I, of course, I do my coaching. I, I do online stuff mm -hmm. where I do with groups, but I do one-on-one -on -one stuff. Mm -hmm. I actually meet with couples in their home, even if they're wow. within a small radius of my place. But that, that's I'll even good meet with because them. You're, the environment they're in tells right. you as a therapist a lot about that, the status of that relationship. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I can go in there. And because I've been self-employed you know, for so long, I can, I can talk about the business side of things. I can talk about all those things that are going to help them, you know, structure yeah. things in a way that's really going to help the relationship all around, whether okay. it's, you know, business and work. Because I really believe that there's a, uh, you know, a, a, there needs to be a real balance between our business lives, our personal mm -hmm. lives, our spiritual mm -hmm. lives. We need to have that all balanced, not mm -hmm. just heavy on one side or the other, because one area or one other area is going to suffer. So, so I, I do those things as well. 
But I do, uh, I do have a couple of live uh, events coming up. One oh. in February. I have one coming up in February in Kitchener that I'll be okay. doing a live event uh, with with couples and singles uh, okay. that I'm bringing in because this book is not only designed to help couples in their relationship, but it's also designed to help single people develop and attract the relationships they want. Because I'm convinced Ooh, that I love that. I'm convinced love that, that we can have the relationships we want. Yeah, we don't have to yeah. just settle for it. But yeah. the problem is we haven't been taught. And you know that's one of the number mm -hmm. top one of the top ten reasons for divorce is people aren't prepared. That's They're just right. not ready. Yeah. So with this book, I want to teach single people as well that, that you need to know what you value. You know, as the old expression goes, if you don't stand for one thing, you'll fall for anything. That's right. And that happens so much in relationships yeah. because yeah. young people and single people and even adult people yeah. just don't know what they stand for. Yeah. So they just fall well, head settle. over heels for anybody. Yeah, and settle because they also get to a certain age and think, that's well, right. I should be married by now. I should be having right. babies and settle. Yes. Yeah, so there's so happens. much in it. Yeah. So so we're going to do that. So, so that's on the 9th of February. So that's on the, the 9th of February. Yeah. In Kitchener, mm -hmm. and then I have one for couples, um, more designed for couples in uh, in March mm -hmm. on the twenty third, and the twenty fourth. We're doing an yeah. overnight thing. It's gonna kind of like a retreat, oh, and wow. and we're gonna spend time just kind of going through yeah. a whole bunch of things. We're gonna mastermind together. We're gonna talk about uh, successes and and failures in marriages, okay. so in relationships. So we're gonna talk about things that really help people succeed, yeah. and the things that they really struggle yeah. with. And we're gonna find a balance in those and things. And how can people get hold of you if they want to attend one of your events? So they can get okay. me at Jim at your relationship rescue coach dot com dot com. You dot heard com. it here. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. I love it. Okay. So, and, and anything else that you want to share with the audience that's coming up for you, events? Because I have to say, genuinely, when I heard you speak, it touched my heart. Mm. And, and it, it was so, you know, is there any speaking opportunities that people could just come and hear you and meet you in that arena? Yes, I have several coming up this year, but one that's really exciting to me is I'll mm -hmm. be speaking with Jack Canfield. The Jack Canfield. I'm going to be speaking on stage with him in Ooh. Toronto in <laughs> April, and I'm really excited about that. That's... I'm coming. <laughs> yes, please come. I want to come. Yes. I have, I'm sorry. I love you, Jim, but I have a very secret, very well publicized crush on Jack Canfield. Oh, who doesn't love I Jack? I mean, love him. I think yeah. he is. Uh, he is just one of those, as a spiritual leader, entrepreneur, and and somebody in our industry. He's just a huge icon for me. What yes. an opportunity yes. for you! Oh, I think it's a that's huge amazing. Yes, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Just wow. Well, congratulations for you. that. So just Thank repeat you. it again. The date. So that's April. Fourth. Some, yeah, okay. Michael Fourth. will flash it up on screen. Have Michael a look. will flash it up because Michael, I forget. Michael, put it in our diaries. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> we are not missing this. To see Jim and Jack on stage is going to be absolutely awesome. Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So that's going to be exciting. Yeah. It's, it's, and it's, it's these, these events, although they're educational and they bring the community together and they're about taking expertise and knowledge and putting it out into the world, it's also a celebration. It's, it's bringing people together. So I love, I love right. events that are, um, you know, that take someone who is successful and somebody in your field that's successful as well and and bring bring you together in one room i that's love right. it absolutely yeah. love well, it. You, yeah. i mean you get yeah like you say you get a whole room full of people that are just yeah. positive they want to grow they want to develop they want to be the very best that they yeah. can be and we're just pulling each other yeah. just helping each other helping up. each other up yeah. so i i have to i know you're probably not aware of this but uh, we I did an award ceremony at the end of 2018 and at a Christmas party and it okay. was about bringing my community together. So my community is still relatively small, but they all very dear to my heart yeah. and they turned up and we did an awards night. Wonderful. And I just want to again say a huge thank you to my wonderful team for making it possible for all of you for turning up. We even had people from the Magenta show. We had Magenta guests turn wow. up and we awarded them a plaque to say thank you for being on the oh, show. That's amazing. Great. We then also had the best... Um, um, uh, views for season four which happened to be Maria Angelova and then we had the best of season five which was Amy Barroso Wonderful. so they just got these thousands and thousands of views and actually wow. their viewership because they're using it as promotional material the episode it's still growing so wow. they also won won awards but we them. gave a very special award to a young lady called Sarah de Felice and Sarah de Felice is the one who got me into the whole social media through her 5d TV network okay. she got star of the year award wow. Wow, I guess. <laughs> so she was just, it was just wonderful. And um, we had a Dragon of the Year Award. 
Ireland. Wow. <laughs> so I turned out to be one of these lovely, meek and mild and beautiful, gentle ladies who won Dragon of the Year <laughs> Award. We had an Angel of the Year Award, which was our producer, Shannon Fraser, who is just yes. one of those angels of Dopron. So we had all these incredible, we had Ambassador of the Year. I mean, it was just, wow. that was Catherine Bork. So we did this, 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 this huge, huge, we went all out for it. Great. And then we had live music and a party. And it was just an incredible, incredible evening. So I want to challenge all the entrepreneurs out there that if you don't have an event that is planned for 2019 to honor and, and celebrate your team, your family, your followers, your fans, um, the clients that you have with you, the suppliers that help you, I can highly recommend an award ceremony um, mm. at the end of the year to acknowledge people. I think it's just, um, it was sure. such a beautiful evening. Yeah. Um, my heart still bursts thinking about the evening and all the love that was in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to show you some of the pictures yes, from, from that event. Yeah, yeah, no, it sounds was, great. It, it was great fun. Yeah. <laughs> so we've come to the part of the show where I like to help you. Okay. I'd like to go. Now, I don't think I kind of need to help you because you kind of have everything <laughs> sorted. But it gives me an opportunity to showcase you what some of these colors yeah, are this about. This is amazing. So if you have a question that you'd like some guidance on or some color a conversation around, you know, this is this is your moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. Well, this is great. <laughs> yeah, because there's, I, I'm like everybody else. You know, when, when a new year comes around, I'm always thinking, okay, where do I want to be, you know, by December 31st, you yeah. know, at the end of this year. And so I've been giving lots of thought to speaking more and training more and, and equipping. And, and that's the real thing I think I come with is uh, I, I love writing. So mm -hmm. I've been thinking about writing another book. Okay. And, and I love to mentor and teach people. And I'm thinking, is, is there a way to start training and mentoring others to do what I'm doing okay. so that we can influence the masses more that way yes that makes sense yes it absolutely yeah. does so what i'd like you to do is mm -hmm. um swivel in your chair and just have a look at all the bottles that are behind you and jim even look at the slim ones on this side it doesn't okay. matter which one and then i want you to as you're thinking about the year ahead pick a bottle that just jumps out at you a color um mm. that you know you just got to have on the table i don't know there's something about this one here that <laughs> Okay, and then as you're thinking about potentially doing another book, can you pick a bottle for that one mm. as well? So think about the book and the time you need to invest in doing that, whether that is something that's something on your mind. Okay, and then you, you were also you're looking at um, bringing other people in, expanding the business, right. um, creating other programs. Pick a bottle for that one. Let's, mm. let's get a third one on the table and let's look at the story. There's too many colors. I feel like a <laughs> kid in the candy shop. I know, it's, just, a, it's a rainbow wall. It isn't is. It? It's yeah. amazing. But yeah. there's something about blue that seems to be. Okay. Excellent. All right. So you, you've picked bottle 19. Um, this is a bottle C14 and this is bottle G18. So really this one is about your future and this is about, you know, um, things that you've been thinking about doing in 2019. And it's funny you picked the bottle 19. Hmm. You couldn't see the numbers no, up there. <laughs> no. So 19, 2019 is your year to do this. So the answer is whatever you've got in your mind to do, you need to do it this year. Hmm. Because 2019 is, is a year for you. This bottle is called Buddhic Bliss. Hmm. And, and it's, it kind of has the, the Buddha's colors, you know, the magentas and the gold. So what, it's, what it sits with here is um, it says, what is your bliss? And follow and do only what is blissful for you this year. Hmm. And the magenta at the top says that it's a bridging year because it's it's a year where you can bridge to a new way of doing your business. And the gold underneath is just, you've got so much wisdom and strength and that's going to carry you and all the wealth and financial support that's needed to, to do that is just going to come in and support you and hmm. shift you along. So money's not going to be an issue at all this year with any kind of growth or investments that you want to make with your business then the c14 we we specifically asked around the book for this one um for me this one says yes do wow. the book um and i i, I kind of think say yes because um c14 is the visionary of the future so this book 
if if it's what is the book about? I mean, what what is the what is the subject matter that you're writing about? If you don't mind sharing no, that. No, I so I'm going to take the theme of your relationship rescue handbook, call it rescue, relationship handbook number two. Okay. But it's it's on value driven. Value so driven. So our value okay. attraction, just the yeah. importance of knowing our value to attract. Yeah. The, the relationships that we design. Yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that because you know this is visionary and this is it's it's definitely something that 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 needs to be created for the millennials, for the young couples, for the for people that don't yet know how to construct or structure their relationships. Um, so my, my my feeling on this would be, yeah, it's it's very good, and it's right. going to be a book that will probably make you a lot more famous than you already are. I think mm. it's it's going to give you a celebrity status. Wow. Because it's gold and silver, you know, wow. it's like the gold, the gold and the silver award, you know. Wow. So I think this is going to be another award-winning book for you. Wow. Yeah, Wonderful. that that wow. would be my that would be my interpretation of the colors here. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then um, the G eighteen is kind of an overall, you know, kind of what do you what if you take what you already do and created it for other people to learn how to do what you do? I think that's fantastic. Um, the G eighteen um, is it's it's a beautiful bottle that is. Um, it's platinums and it is you, you you like the blue so it's just platinums and blue lilacs and you know just this whole kind of blue energy that mm. comes into into G18 and it's again just saying educate teach um, you know because blue blue is about the classroom environment and it's about study and it's about discipline so um, I would I would definitely say to you it's a really good year for you to create products hmm, that and and programs that other people can learn. But because there's a lot of this blue in here, I think uh, um, a lot of it needs to be based on technology so that it's accessible hmm. to other people around the world. It's not just people that will come into classroom with you. You would have to have that time, but. Um, I'm looking here at webinars as well, you know, that kind of classroom environment, online right. online learning. Yeah. Yeah. Have you thought about it as an online process? I have, yes, yes. Yeah. Because like you say, the, the world is such a small place today. It's, yeah. We need to take advantage of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, the 18 is about resolving conflict, moving beyond separation and conflict as well. So, you know, if the focus of your, your program or your first program could be around helping people to resolve those issues and relationships and make them a master at that so they can go and do that, that would be a, a really mm. good way forward. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. So, my darlings, for you watching the show, if you have any questions, it's your time now to actually ask Jim a question. And um, and while you're thinking about a question and you want to pop it in so that he can have a look at it, um, I'm going to just give you a, this special announcement. The special announcement is that the very, very, very last show um, on season six on the 25th of March is going to be a reunion show. So we are yeah. taking all the guests from season four and season five, clumping them together. We might not fit them all on set, but we'll figure it out. And we are going to bring them back onto the set and we're going to ask them what happened after the show. Because we give advice, we give guidance, we have a chat. And, you, you know, an opportunity like this opens up people's minds. It opens up the guest's mind to new ideas. So we're going to follow up and hear in person back from the previous guests as to what did they implement and what happened to them after the show. But I would like you, the viewers, to also let us know who was your favorite mm. guest in season four and season five. And if you have a question for them and, the, and you know, there's a possibility of then choosing a winner and bringing you onto the set to meet them live. That is, if you want to come all the way to Canada and if you're in Canada, that would be absolutely great. So that is our one big announcement. So again, a celebration and a gratitude yeah, and a feedback like and a reunion and bringing people together that we've loved in season four and five. And yeah. we're going to do it for, for this season and season seven later in the year as well. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, you amazing. like that? I like that. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Good for you. Excellent. That's great. So um, just having a little look again here at your, at just bringing it back to your, your colors that are sitting here, there is, I asked the audience at the beginning of this show to let me know the day they were born, the month, and then I was going to calculate their year number. So I'm in a pink here, so I'm wearing pink today, and that is um, a number six, and it's pink energy. So for me, in my 2019 here, it's going to be about love relationships, partners, mm. and taking better care of my health. But that's another subject for when I have somebody not with relationship expert advice on the sofa, some dietitian on the show. And 
I calculated yours, Jim, and you're in the number one yellow year. Right. So you are in a yellow year, and you can see the golds that are sitting here. So there's there's definitely a little correlation mm. for you here. So you're in a number one yellow year, and what that means is it's the beginning of a cycle. So I just look at the colors symbolically, and it just says that you're starting a whole new nine-year phase in your life. And whatever you do in your one year is going to form the foundation of how you're going to do your business for the next nine years. Mm. So... You know, that's why I felt it was such a big yes for you to to get that book done and the next book done and also to create uh, programs for other people to emulate and do and copy and duplicate who and what you are and reach more people. 2019, your 19 number. I mean, this this is definitely your year. Hmm. The nice thing, what I want to just give you, and if any of those of you come to a number one as well with, with our guest Jim here, it's a year for more joy. You know, I know it's going to be stressful. It's going to be very, very busy. You've got a lot of deadlines that you've got to meet, a lot of goals you want to achieve. But you must remember just to, and you're good at this because you, you're a planner. You, you value your time with you and your yes. wife. Take that time out for, for fun. It might be mm. that the time is a bit shorter this year, but definitely just keep having fun. If you keep the fun element, it's all going to be very, very, very successful mm. for you. I like that. You've got an extraordinary, powerful... Um, almost like it's a career um, explosion for you this year in 2019. Mm. It's going to be good. Yes. Yeah. I feel yeah, it too. That's yeah. great. I, as, I, as I look at you, I've got all these like, you know, when you get fireworks going off yes. and explosions and party crackers and ribbons going off. It literally feels like that's the energy for you in 2019. It's going to wow. be good. Wow. I like it. Yeah. I like it. You like. Wonderful. So which one, which one out of the three you've chosen is the favorite one that you like the most? Um... I don't know. There's, I don't know. There's something about this guy that the silver and gold. Yeah. Yeah. It's the visionary of the future. Hmm. Uh, people who pick that, they they have this ability to be very powerful visionaries and 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 then also follow through with that vision. You know, put hmm. things into plan, into action, and right. make it happen. So. You can do it, and this wow. and the, this is the colors that will also support you with the writing process. Hmm. So when you feel a bit stressed and the deadlines are looming, and you know you feel like you haven't got enough time, those are the colors you want to kind of put around you. Okay. Yeah, I'll, silvers and gold. Yeah. Okay, I'll remember that. That would be very useful. All right. Yes. No, so did great. anybody did anybody give us a question for our guest? I mean, this is a whole new segment, so we have no idea if anyone's <laughs> got a question on relationship. If you're all happy and blissful, everybody's out happy. There. That's Everyone's great. happy Wonderful. out there. <laughs> Let's have a look, Michael. Scrolling down. Let's have a look. I need help. I can get. I date a lot, but it has not gone to marriage. Hmm. Mm, well, can you answer to that one? Well, I would say that if if you're dating lots, but it hasn't gone to marriage, then obviously there's something um, in the value structure, let's say, mm -hmm. that's that's not lining up. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that. You know that that person is wise in in not stepping into marriage until they really get that everything is there. Because yes. let's face it, if you know if we take these eleven F words and value each of those, our finances, our friendships, our future goals, all these different things. If we value, we 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 assign a value to each of these things. If if we're attracted to somebody physically, but they don't line up with mm. all of these these values, then then it's not going to line up to it's marriage. Not line you know, up, so yeah. I would just suggest just continue to develop yourself as a person. Mm. And as we walk out in in what we value, what is important to us, that becomes our confidence. That becomes yeah. us. And then that is going to start to attract those similar people, right? Yeah. You ever notice you go into a room of forty or fifty people, and instantly you'll be attracted to somebody, to somebody. that's very similar, yes. right? You yeah. just have there's something that frequency similar. Frequency match. That, right. That's right. Yeah. And so that's what I see. In relationships and then if we're not finding that that if we're dating lots but it's not going into into that uh, mm -hmm. you know the area of, of, of marriage that there's probably still just that that step so I'd be patient and just yeah. continue to don't don't settle don't allow the time clock to be yeah. ticking in your ear but just just know that you're you're growing you're developing and then that person you know it, it will begin yeah. to attract yeah. you know yeah. you'll begin to attract yeah and please you know watch the show from the beginning we've given lots of information on relationships and 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 tips and ideas how to get hold of jim's book so i think for anne who asked that question about um, not finding the right person right now doing lots of dating 
I think uh, highly, highly recommend and that you get hold of your relationship rescue handbook and, and have a look at it and possibly also contact Jim for, um, for some counseling and session. I think that would be that would be mm -hmm. really good. And yeah. I, I have an extra book. I'll leave an extra book for Anne that she can get one specifically. Oh, you are so kind, yes, Jim. There please. you go. Anne, darling, we have a book for you, my angel. And thank you for participating and asking a question of our guest today. We deeply appreciate it. So, Jim, I think that's us. Um, we're, Wonderful. You're in for a very, very successful, shiny, exciting, happy, just glamorous, literally glamorous I year like this it. year. Wonderful. Um, I hope your wife has lots of evening dresses. She's going to need a new wardrobe to go along to all the things you're going to be <laughs> taking her to. And it's going to be a really, really exciting year for you. My darlings, thank you so much for tuning in. We wanted to make the season opener, season six, really special with a special guest. And we deeply appreciate your comments. We deeply appreciate you participating and share, share, share. You know, that's what you need to do. So just, um, again, remember to put in your day and the month. And I will come after the show onto the comments boxes. And I will let you know what your year number is and give you a little mini prediction. All for free, off set after the show. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So. Thank you. I love you a lot, Jim. Thank you so much for Thank being on the show. You've been me. This amazing. Has been great. Oh, great. <laughs> we both were coughing our lungs out earlier. We've done really well. <laughs> we have. We have. We've done really we've, well. We've got it under control. We love you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you for um, episode two next Monday. Thank you.